In today's video, we are going to discuss an important area of decision making under risk and uncertainty. So guys, if you don't know me, I'm the Commerce Specialist. Welcome to my channel where you'll find videos covering various learning outcomes of academic and professional qualification and certifications. When we do decision making under uncertainty and when there is a lot of risk, we use three different methods. Maximax, Maximin and Minimax Regret Rule. So let's discuss. So guys, if you look at this table, there are three different projects, Project Alpha, Bravo and Charlie, and there are three different economic scenarios. When the economy is very good, Project Alpha will earn a profit of $100. When the economy is good, $90. And when the economy is poor, there can be a loss of $20. Likewise, for Bravo and Charlie, uh, profits are given for three different economic situations. So now if you look at the three different decision criteria, the very first is known as Maximax. This decision criteria is used by managers who are risk seekers. They want maximum profit come what may. They're willing to take the risk. So if you look at alpha, we are looking at vertically, whether the economy is very good, good or poor, what is the maximum return alpha can offer which is hundred dollars if you look at bravo these are the profit figures the maximum bravo offers us is 120 and if you look at here the maximum is 85 for charlie under maximax decision rule what we have to look at is first i took the maximum for alpha under three scenarios Maximum for Bravo, maximum for Charlie. Now have to choose among these three, which is the highest return? Which is B. And this is the project which I'm going to invest in. So here I'm looking at the maximum return and I'm not looking at the amount of risk I'll be exposed to. I'm fine. There are, there are managers who have the appetite of risk. They are risk takers. They are willing to take the risk as long as they get the maximum return. So I am just repeating in maximus what I did. I look at the maximum returns for all three and then looked at which is the highest. I choose that one which is Bravo. Our next decision criteria or decision rule is maximum. There are managers who are very risk averse. They just don't want to get into any risky situation. They don't want to take any risky decision see how it is done so if i'm talking about maximum again i will look at vertical these are the profits under alpha what's the minimum the minimum is a loss of 20 dollars if i look for bravo what is the minimum profit it may give me 10 dollars and if i look at charlie the minimum profit it gives me a 60. So here, as I told you, there are managers who have a very low risk appetite. In other words, you can say they are risk averse. So what they do is they look at the minimum return among all these, the minimum. And then they look at among these minimum returns, even if there is a worst come worst scenario, which project still gives me the highest return. So these are the minimum return among three, but among the minimum, which gives the highest is Charlie. So I'm going to choose Charlie. So even if there is a worst come worst scenario, if I compare the three projects, still Charlie gives me the highest return. So the last decision criteria I'm going to discuss now is Minimax Regret Rule. To start off with Minimax Regret Rule, first we have to prepare a regret table. See how it is done. I'm going to make a regret table. Again, I have same Alpha, Bravo and Charlie. Here I have the scenarios, very good, good and poor. Now, when we are doing the regret table, we have to consider the profits horizontally. Look at this. I'm talking about this row. I'm talking about this row. Among all the profit outcomes for Alpha, Bravo and Charlie, which is the highest? $100. So if I choose 
when the economy is good, if I choose $100, which is the highest, I have no regrets. Because among these three, 100 is the highest and I have chosen 100, so there is no regret. What if 100 is the highest, but I choose 80? If 100 is the highest return, but I choose Bravo, that means I have a regret, I have a loss of 20. It's an opportunity cost. I could have chosen the maximum, but I chose 80. So maximum is 100, I chose 80, that's why I'm losing 20. Now if you look at Charlie, the maximum in this category is $100 return, but I am choosing 60. That means I have a regret, I have a loss of 40. Likewise, we look at the second row. So if you look at this row, the maximum is 120. But if I choose 90, I have a regret of 30. I am losing 30. If you look at this row again, the maximum is 120. If I choose 120, I have no regrets. There is no loss. The maximum is 120 in this row. If I choose 85, I have a regret of 35. When the economy is in a poor condition, if you look at Alpha, Bravo and Charlie, the maximum return provided to me is by Charlie. But still if I choose Alpha, that means I have a regret of 115. The maximum return is 85, if I choose 10, I have a, return, a regret of 75, which means this much profit, additional profit I could have got, but I never took. Why? Because I made the wrong decision. Now if you look at this row again, the maximum is 85. If I choose Charlie, when the economy is poor, I have no regrets whatsoever, there are no losses. In the end, ladies and gentlemen, what we do is, we don't total. Again, I repeat, we do not total. What we look at is the highest. A can give me a highest loss of 115 if I make the wrong decision. B can give me a maximum regret, a maximum loss of 75. And C can give me a maximum loss of 40. So guys, you decide. If there are three different projects and three different scenarios relating to economy, Yes, we have to make a decision, we have to choose. But among these three projects, Alpha, Bravo and Charlie, even if we make a wrong decision, which project gives us the minimum loss? If you look at this, regret here means loss. So, which project among these three, even if we make a wrong decision, gives us the minimum loss, which is C. So, under Minimax regret rule, we came to a conclusion that even if we make a wrong decision, still project C gives us the minimum loss and we will choose that. So guys, I hope you have understood Maximax, Maximin and Minimax regret rule. And just to remind you, uh, my focus group is still on. The link is on the screen. You can join this for focus classes for ACC and CMA specifically and with a host of other benefits. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Press the bell notification button so that you get my videos on a timely basis. If you like this video, please share it with your friend and family members so that others can also benefit. Thank you so very much for your precious time.